One of the greatest things about getting to work at the University of Alabama is the way that you're able to synthesize your work-life balance and being able to have an interest that you teach about, but you don't get burned out on that because you get to teach your passions. I get to, to be in the classroom, be in that setting. I get to come home and use this house as basically my, my laboratory and uh, realize, well, this is how things were used in different times by different people, and I get to bring that back to the classroom. And there's something about going back and forth between that that gets you to a, a deeper level of thought. And and I think it's a really valuable uh, aspect of my life that I'm really happy to be able to work there and have that. I think that just the same way that the University of Alabama showcases its historic campus and brings so many people in by its historic architecture and the way that it's designed is the same thing that I've tried to mirror in this house. These houses were built to entertain and they were built to share and so a century later that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. I opened this house up for tours and different groups with my classes and I think that, that it's sort of a responsibility. You don't see yourself as an owner of a structure like this. Uh, you're a steward of it, the same way that President Bell is steward of the University of Alabama and the President's Mansion. We're all just there taking care of these things for later generations. It was a, a, a great honor and surprise to be featured in the March issue of Southern Living. They were doing a story on people who had restored uh, historic houses, and I sort of had to laugh. I said, well, this is sort of an ongoing project. <laughs> Does restored have to be past tense? And they, but they, they said, no, it's exciting to see somebody doing ongoing work. Being able to showcase this and uh, uh, surround yourself by your passions, and that's something that the University of Alabama taught me and something that I'm able to give back to my students and give back to this community as well. Sometimes people ask, well, when will this project be done? And it'll never be done. It's always going to be a work in progress, but that's uh, life and that's education, and that's what we teach about.